Hey, gonna take apart a Birkeland Eyed Reactor. Do a little bit of work on it, put it back together again. See how that all works out for us. It's just a little bit too. There we go. Done a couple of very basic tests. And he's back, of course he is. Right. I'm just gonna work through that anyway. I'm not overly concerned about it. It is what it is. Alright, so here we've got our reaction vessel. I thought for sure he was already done with that. Or at least starts it right back up. So uh Reaction vessel here, four neck round bottom flask, three of them are 2440s, and uh, let's see if we get it there. Yeah, three of them are 2440s, one of them's a 3445, and a couple of internet gas adapters in there too. Uh, bring the electrodes in through those. A lot of people like to go with a three neck for this, I've seen in a lot of videos. I didn't really want to go that route um, because you have to figure out how to get both the electrodes to come in from one spot. And uh, it just, there's not a, any glassware that's made for that. Buying a PTFE thing's really difficult. And you're working with nitric acids here, so rubbers and most other plastics just aren't going to cut it. Uh, let's see, we got our uh, transformer in there. I don't really want to get it out. Um, you know, I don't really want to get it out and dig around in there too much because it's immersed nicely in some mineral oil and it's just sort of doing its thing. But uh, it's a cheap, I think $30 on eBay, neon sign transformer, 7,500 volts, um, 30 milliamps, something like that. Unfortunately, it's got one of those ground fault interrupter circuits built in it. Um, makes it a huge pain. It likes to trip off all the time. That's why I ended up putting a duty cycle timer in here. It's a 20 second on cycle, 5 second off cycle. The 5 second off cycle is honestly just to get around the fact that sometimes it'll trip the GFI midway through that 20 second up time and don't need that. But, uh, I really would, wouldn't mind when he finally puts that thing out for the day. Uh, over here we got the scrubbing system. Uh, runs off of one of the inert gas adapters. Uh, modified with a little Teflon tube coming off the bottom of it, running into the beginning of uh, my three scrubber system. It was a four scrubber system, but that provided a little bit too much backflow. Pretty simple little things, 50 milliliter SO2 scrubbers. But, uh, using them for HNO3 scrubbing, no big deal. Uh, aquarium air pump, fairly simple. Um, wanted to use, had a bit of an issue between the uh, aquarium line not quite being big enough to attach to one of these inert gas adapters, so I ended up just grabbing a little fuel line. Worked pretty well for the purpose. Uh, this is on the side of it where you know, we're just blowing clean air in. This shouldn't be too heavily exposed to too many of the nitrates. Um, an adapter piece, reducer, take us from 3445 to 2440. I could have just gotten a four neck 2440 one of these but this well this was a there was a really good deal on this one so I picked that up instead figured I'd just buy an extra glass piece and make do um, coming off of the transformer over here we've got two of our alligator clips I don't know if you can see very well actually you can Let's see how well that comes in on the camera there 
They were nice and shiny when I got them, but when I first was running, when I was first running this, the scrubbing setup I was using wasn't the greatest. And uh, even after just a few days in here, the alligator clips, some of them have already corroded somewhat significantly. The same thing on the other side, the other alligator clip tucked up in here out of the way. Um, used a piece of acrylic that I had laying around to make a holder for the, the reaction vessel here. Just took a Dremel to it, carved out some holes so I could slide it on in. It sits rather nicely. Does the job. Um, nah, it's, it's plastic. The silicone's silicone. The tub is plastic. None of these things are meant to really handle any of the gases if they manage to make it all the way out through the end. And uh, they'll, they'll degrade over time for sure. Yeah. Don't really know if I'm gonna do, I don't need to do a whole heck of a lot of disassembly on it right now. Um, it's just really I'm trying to get a little bit of video in to see about what we've got with it. I don't even think we've got anybody really watching right now either, so. But, the cycle typer is pretty simple. This was, made up a couple of these for refilling these little dealies because, well, it's kind of a pain. But, uh, slide the funnel on the top to the water come in and then this piece is for a uh, little hand vacuum pump I have so I can draw a little bit of a vacuum and pull the water down through fill these things up. I found just trying to pour it in through the side here eh, doesn't doesn't really like it there's uh, flow issues the water will just start back flowing up the center tube and I don't know maybe I'm supposed to fill it inverted. I don't know these things work particularly well, but we'll, we'll learn a little bit more about it. I've never actually used these scrubbing bottles for anything. As it is now, I'm taking it from four to three. Hoping that that'll help a little bit with our flow restriction issues. Definitely a fair amount of corrosion happening on those electrodes. They are not liking it. But at the end of the day, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Since I've taken it apart, something's not sitting in here right anymore. Oh, I'm not sitting right. I'm just dumb. There we go. It's clippy. Clippy, clippy.
go. We have electrical arc. That looks like on camera. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So now air is coming in through this clear air line here and then switching over to being in this black fuel line and running up in through the centerpiece of the reaction vessel here and uh, it's passing through the Jacobs ladder and in that reaction vessel over time the nitrogen and oxygen that make up the atmosphere will be broken down into free radical nitrogen, free radical oxygen that will then recombine into various nitric oxides. Those various nitric oxides will then be pumped out through this PTFE tube, which should hopefully be able to handle it, being one of the most resistive substances, passed through these three bubblers. It's And uh, bubbler one, bubbler two, bubbler three, end result. I mean, this one, there's nothing fancy on the end of this one. It's, I probably shouldn't keep that up for too long, but it's just a PTFE tube. There we go, there we go. It's just a PTFE tube with nothing on the end of it. Hopefully by the time it gets to that part, most of the uh, nitrates will have been absorbed in these. Duty cycle timer is just set to sit there and reset the transformer in case it decides to arc out, make it a little less needed to be babysat. But, uh, yeah, it's doing it. Pretty simple device, all things considered. Air pump, transformer, and a couple copper wires. Pretty neat what you can do with it though.